Hello from an abandoned military installation in the middle of nowhere, Nevada. What are you thinking, Bruce? What are those? Brucey? You got the chickens? Come Look at that sunset. No, but for real, check out this sunset. I got bit in the face by a mosquito, but look at that sunset camera this does not do it justice this is Nevada turn to get to the housing out here so let's keep on going down the road i had a wonderful time at the middle gate station last night i stayed there at the hotel motel it was 40 dollars a night i think it was 10 extra dollars for bruce it was a good time they've got a bar there that you can hang out at it was fun it was a lot of fun, and it was a perfect place to stop and recharge from driving and then head out here because the turn for this is about six miles before or after Middlegate, depending on which direction you came from. I came from the Reno direction, so the turn for this place was six miles before Middlegate. road to get in here is actually pretty decent, I'm guessing because the military still uses some of this area. So they try to keep it graded. I even saw they filled in some potholes. So that's pretty nice. Check out my view.
move from an abandoned military installation in the middle of nowhere, Nevada. Where's this stuff? We're gonna check this out. Apparently, they call this part the Taco Bell. There's a menu on the thing. I'm not sure why. But in this video, I am going to answer some questions. Let's go. What is this? an old jeep. Look at that steering wheel. That's cool. Just a bunch of junk. Let's go see over here by the pond. All right, there's some abandoned things under camo tarps. All right. Super cool. Gotta watch out for snakes. They like to hide in this stuff. Basically a shelter. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. How about a skinny dip and a beer? Let's go. Cheers. Isn't this awesome though? I mean, come on. Nature is incredible, you know? Look at that. I do wish that I had a floaty. A floaty would be nice for sure. <laughs> Look at my puppy, I love him. I am just so happy. Ah, the fish are eating my dead skin too, which is great. People pay good money for that. This is free. Mine's the gas to get here. This is super duper duper nice. Gotta get my hair wet too before I leave. It's hot out here. Look at my puppy. What are you doing? It's, it's slippery up here. Brucey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come over here. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's a good boy. You can get on that. Yeah, you got your own, your own table that you could stand on. Brucey. Of course, I haven't seen anybody all day, but there was a quad driving by. So I dipped down. I don't care if he sees me naked, but he might care. Cowboy. Oh well. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's slippery. <laughs>
So, let me just talk about my time in the Navy. We didn't have any of these on our ship. But, I joined the Navy in 2006, when I was 17 years old. And I had to have my parents sign off so I could join. I basically got away from a small town and a bad living situation. So, that's why I joined the Navy. It was a great building block for a young person, and it got me out of my small town. Then I was stationed on the USS Nassau out of Norfolk, Virginia. First, I actually went to school in Pensacola, Florida for um, basically ordinance. And I failed the school because I partied a little too hard. I'm going to admit that. So then I went as an undesignated seaman. That was my rate. And that's what I did. Undesignated seaman, basically tie up the ship, do watch, do maintenance on the ship, and do all of the front work. That answers those questions. <laughs> this is really cool though. Hi, Boo Boo. <laughs> an old ranch and it has a porta potty which is super duper clean one of the cleanest porta potties I've ever seen and it says there's a book about this place called damn I shot my horse So another question is, do I miss the people that I served with? I'm filming right here next to this. I didn't find any more tanks, actual tanks, but here we are. So do I miss the people that I served with? Of course I miss some of the people that I served with, but I'm going to answer this along with a question that was I ever discriminated against? And the answer is yes, but I wasn't discriminated against by men mostly women. Most of my hard times came from women. I even had to dye my hair brown once in the middle of a deployment because this woman didn't believe that my natural hair color was blonde. And obviously this isn't my natural hair color, but at the time my hair was my natural hair color. And so in the middle of deployment, I basically had to change my identity. And it really, really messed with me because of course people are going to notice that stuff for How'd you dye your hair in the middle of deployment? So that's one of the instances where I was discriminated against. Most of the time it was by women. But for the most part, I do miss some of the people that I served with. Actually, a lot of them. Because the camaraderie is just incredible with the true people that are there to help protect you. You know, you have, you have to have each other's backs in the military. And unfortunately, that's not the case for everybody. But... I do have a lot of people that I still call my really close friends, my brothers and sisters, and so that answers that question. And what was my rate after I was a deck seaman? When you're a deck seaman, you basically don't have a job. You don't have a rate. You don't have a title besides deck seaman. And after a few years, you can uh, basically find another job and take a test for that job, or you can go to school whether it's approved or not. So I took a test and worked for the chaplain the remainder of my time, which was really incredible. I worked for some really great chaplains, and unfortunately, I worked for some not-so-great chaplains. A lot of them lied and used their chaplain status to basically get me in trouble a few times, which I am still kind of bitter about. So unfortunately, a lot of them used you know, their status of being religious for that, and that's really unfortunate, but I'll never forget and I always try to tell the truth no matter what. So it really hurt 
when I was basically framed by certain chaplains, more than one actually, because they needed to protect themselves for certain things. So yeah, that was my second job and yeah, I really did enjoy my time in the Navy though overall. Maybe at the time I didn't enjoy it, but I think that it is a great building block for young people who don't have a plan. I got so many jobs after I was in the Navy because I was in the Navy, so it was definitely not because of my character, which now I believe it would be because of my character, but the Navy certainly did help a lot when it comes to, you know, certain things. I do have health care because I am disabled, and I do believe that most of the people join the military because they feel like they're doing some good for their country or they need out of their situation. Whatever it is, they still serve their country. And I want to thank all the veterans out there who have stepped up to the plate to do so. And I also want to thank, you know, everybody who works every day to protect our civilian people, like our firefighters and our policemen, our nurses and our healthcare workers. So thank you very much. Let's go see what's over yonder. Over there, there's a truck. All right, I think that is the end of the Q&A. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's about 102 outside, and I'm actually heading to some hot springs. we are not too far from here, so I think I'm gonna go.